morning everybody uh, and it is really early things aren't good we booked on at um, me and the other guy we're going to run to Calais starting at one o'clock local time 12 o'clock UK time midnight we've come down through this uh, vast estate to the gates and the gates are locked and we spoke on the, the intercon system to some garbled French guy the other end they won't open the gates for us till seven o'clock in the morning so now I'm booked on my clock is ticking and I wanted to get down to Calais in three and a half hours in case of a hold up now I've lost six hours if they're opening the gate at seven o'clock in the morning so I'm not a happy bunny so I um oh, this is this is absolutely ridiculous I don't know what to say really it's just beyond me I'll catch up with you guys later. a good bit of luck uh, straight in the port straight through the heartbeat machine uh, tiny little bit of a queue to get the ticket and to passport control but I've, I'm in my queuing lane waiting to go on the boat within 20 minutes that's uh, that's the result so hopefully we can um, catch up a little bit get on the boat and have some breakfast waiting to disembark at Dover, had a nice bit of breakfast, an hour and three quarters break, an hour and three quarter crossing. So, full steam ahead now, I think we'll stop at Clackett Lane on the way back and get us a nice latte, and then crack on and uh, back to base, and then home, Three. really looking forward to that, yeah this last couple of days has been a bit, uh, been a bit funny really, especially last night, having to wait five hours to be let out, yeah, so it's, you know, I would have been home by now, but Never mind, at least the boat was clear at Calais. I don't think I've been through so quick. I'm right the way through in 20 minutes to McEwen Lane and on the boat within half an hour. What a result. Anyway, we'll crack on. Next stop, Clackett Lane. what the doctor ordered I'm happy now um, I was going to be getting back to the yard a little bit tight with 
just half an hour to spare and I'll get a phone call I've now got to deliver back to the customer not take the vehicle back with me to our yard so that means I can't get to the customer because I haven't got enough time because I started at midnight last night and my time's up at 3 well I could get to the customer but I might not have enough time to get out of the premises so I don't want to get in that predicament so that means I've got to stop at Cobham Services which I don't really like Cobham Services but that's the closest one to the customer stay there the night and go in and deliver the vehicle first thing in the morning so oh well at least I'm back in the UK which is the main thing I'm happy I'm a happy bunny now really but I'd have been happier if I was going home to see my lovely wife tonight she's not going to be very happy I've just sent her a message she thought I was coming home and I got a phone call in between and so I've had to let her know Never mind, hun. Hopefully I'll be home tomorrow. Hopefully I'll be home Wednesday, because it's my birthday Wednesday. Yeah. I didn't think I'd be home Wednesday anyway, because I thought I was going back out to, to uh, France. Oh, that's nice. So, how things change in this job? You know, that's trucking for you. So it's still a good job. You know, it has its down points, like any job really. But no, I enjoy it. You've got to take the rough of the smooth, haven't you, really? Of course, cool, a bit warm here at Cobham. It's, um, it's, it's uh, look, you can see that. It's 23 degrees. It is warm. It's, um, I've got my roof aircon unit on, which I never used to have one in the old truck. And, uh, yeah, it's, once it kicks in, and it's uh, been on for a while, it's, it ain't too bad. It's pretty cool. It's, down to 17 degrees. I thought it'd be like at night, that would be too noisy, but I'm sitting here in the diet, it's, it's alright, so it's over the engine runner. I think what I'm gonna do now, I've bought some tire paint, so um I put some nice shiny wheel trims on not long ago, so I think that's gonna look nice with the tires painted because you can use that tire dress and stuff, and it really don't last, it don't you know, looks alright for five minutes to I want to give this tyre paint a little go, I think. Yeah. and harder job than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, it's taken me hours to do that. So, I did the front wheel and uh, it turned out that the paint was a little bit too thick so I thinned it out. And uh, the other three wheels, tyres look much better, look more natural. But, uh, no, not a bad result. That might calm down a little bit that front one. It's a little bit too short, but yeah, a bit shiny and streaky for my liking. But uh, uh, the old girl looks alright. Different to the rest of the fleet. But yeah, that was, oh, that was hard work. It was really, I, you know, I couldn't do it with the wheel trims on because of the mess it was making. So I'd take every wheel trim off. So I'd uh, done that. To say, thin, thin it, thinned it out with a bit of white spirit and the other three are much better so next if I do it again next time it'll be a lot easier because it's it's too thick when it comes just au naturel but uh, yeah quite happy with that right I'm gonna get myself sorted out and go for a shower well that's me all fed and watered so I'm just having a little drop of wine now and um, I'm going to start getting the files off to put stick on my laptop.
start um, editing up these vlogs so I'm going to call it a day now that's the end of today's vlog you know, if you like it give it a thumbs up you know any comments are much appreciated whether it's good or bad you know just shows the people are looking so catch you tomorrow bye